morning, you guys. Well, it's morning for me, but it's probably around noonish. I don't know what time it is for you guys because time zones and all that. But we are here in my kitchen featuring this ladder and freshly washed hair. Fresh. Kitchen not so fresh, but hair is looking amazing. Um, let me see. I have to check to see what day of vlogmas this is because I have like I pre-record some of these videos like a couple days ahead of time some of them so i'm like i have to keep up with days so i believe this is day 14 and today is the car reveal and because i thought a car reveal was going to be too short we're going to go to the car wash and we got rgb lights for the inside of our car i'm seeing a movie in two hours so we got two hours to learn how to do this and possibly get a snack before the movies so let's go ahead and head out and I think we're gonna go to the car wash first so we can at least wash the car, get it all fancy, and then we'll do a reveal. Or maybe I'll do lights and then reveal. I don't know. We'll see how this ends up getting edited, but I love this hoodie. It's out of season, just like yesterday's hoodie, but it says, let's watch scary movies, and then it has ghost face all in the sleeve. I love a sleeve accent so much. <sighs> Wind it, because I'm super excited. Let's, uh, I should eat something before I head out, but today I'm filming another video where it's breakfast for dinner, so I'm like, I don't want to eat too much, and then I'm ready for breakfast for dinner, but I should definitely eat some breakfast for breakfast. <sighs> Nothing sounds good, but okay, let me figure this out, let me figure out what I'm going to eat, and then we're going to head out. I was about to head out and then I saw something silver in my purse. I'm like, what the hell is that? It's a staple gun. Probably shouldn't take this into the movie theater or any other places. It's probably considered a weapon. <sighs> okay. Hello. Um, I think I want to do, I was trying to decide last night and then last minute I changed my mind. Um, I think, I want to do the pick two okay. and then add something extra. So I want to do the uh, underbody, right. the clear coat, and a, right. add a tire shine. Add a tire shine? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Your hands are warm. <laughs> really? All right. All right. Thank you. Oh, I was so nervous. So we got our car wash and I never understood why Mike's car wash had probably should roll up the window because <laughs> that could be horrible. Um, I never understood the Mike's car wash and Sesame Street characters. Somebody break this down for me. Feet off the pedal, hands on the wheel. Put the car in neutral. This makes me nervous. Every time I go through a car wash, I get nervous because it's like, let's turn it that way so you guys can see a little bit outside. It's like I never know what to do and then they end up turning everything off and then making sure, like it's a whole, it's a whole thing. I get stressed out every time I go through a car wash, but the, I haven't had the car washed. Well, they didn't get a chance to wash it when I got the car because it was late and there was only like one person working at the car wash and he was just like, I'll give you a gift card and you can go get it washed. So I'm like, cool. A week later, I'm getting the car washed. Two weeks later, I don't know. Sometime later, the car is finally being washed. <sighs> okay. Should I put the car in neutral now or should I wait? Car is in neutral now. <laughs> Should I open up the sunroof so we can see what's going on up top? Ah! I did it right this time. I'm so proud of myself.
I get my clear coat and everything? My tires shine? I mean, this is so confusing. Is getting your car wash a scam? It smells really lemony and fresh. I'm just so confused on what just happened here. <laughs> what? Wait, okay, we gotta go somewhere and park. It's 11.33, I have an hour until my movie starts and I'm very confused on what just took place here because did they do my clear coat? It feels like you guys just washed my car with water. Like how do I, it's like soap and water. All the normal stuff that I normally get I didn't feel a tire shine. Like, I'm gonna check my tires when I get out because they have some like marker on them. So I guess when they mark the tires or whatever. I'm gonna check it really quick because I am so confused. Oh, I can't wait for this Tom and Chi to open. Hurry up, please. I need you. I really wanna have something light to eat, like a bagel with some cream cheese. But I don't know if I have time. We'll see. We'll do, let's do the car thing first. And then if we have time, then we'll go somewhere else and get like a bagel and some cream cheese. Right now we're heading over to the movie theater parking lot because I figured it was going to be very empty. And oh, actually I should go to the at home parking lot. That parking lot will be dead. Well, actually it's pretty, uh, pretty empty over here at the movie theater probably because it's so early so yeah we can do it over here at the movie theater parking lot nobody's here nobody that'll be paying attention to me there's like two cars in the lot it's fine and then I'll go to like the way outskirts of the parking lot and we can do this I'm gonna get my windows tinted I know I'm just like rambling on and on and on like I'm saying so much in such a short amount of time but I'm shocked but I'm gonna get my windows tinted and I haven't had a car with tinted windows probably in forever. For sure that last car, I've had it for three years. Windows never tinted. And actually, let's get like a center spot. Let's back up and park like, maybe this is a parking spot. Okay. Oh no. I didn't realize my phone was still recording and it's just been sitting in my lap the whole time. Nice. Gonna have to edit a lot of that out, but Let's record some footage of the car, outside of the car. We're gonna also judge this car wash. It is literally 39 degrees out here. Mm. You guys, this was the biggest scam ever. Wait till you see this. I cannot believe. Are you kidding me? Wait till you guys see what this car looks like. Um, I'm getting out here to get, um, what did I just hop in the car for? Oh, to get my, my purse out so I can close the door and not lock it. Mike's car wash, like I will never get my car washed again. I will go out here and manually scrub this car myself. So we got the tire shine. Do you see? There is still dirt. There is still marker right here that I can just literally rub off myself. What type of, like, there's a, a sticker here. I guess we can rub that off, but literally, what did they do? There's still dirt. There's still dirt all underneath. Look at these, there's like freaking watermarks dripping down the car. Can you guys even see that? Hold on, no, you're not, you cannot, you just see me. I have to see in editing what you guys can actually see, but there's like marks from like soap or water. Is this the clear coat? What is that? And I'm just like rubbing it off. This tire looks a little bit better. Anyway, car reveal time. So this is the side. We got a 2022 Nissan Sentra. Look at the front. The front of the car is what kind of sold me on it because it looks really good in the front. It looks really pretty up front. It's the other side. We're not even going to bother checking the other tires because I already know they don't look good. 
here's the back window and now we're gonna check out the interior do you see I see how it's like a sparkly kind of red there's like some sort of glitter in there all right it's so bright outside so I don't know what all you if this is even gonna be a good video but let's close the door a little at least turn the car on I like that everything in the center is like a digital screen and it even shows like how many miles you're going I like that that's digital and then sometimes it even shows like whatever's the speed limit it'll show it like right there I like that a lot has all the normal stuff on the steering wheel normal stuff on this side the only difference from my other car is my heated steering wheel button was on this side of the car and now it's in this little center area right here so it's the heated steering wheel the heated seats and then you can choose like the level for the heating seats so like one and two uh rear window or front window heating rear then you could choose the temperature or the intensity of the fan these things i feel like the guy tried to show me these as like a selling point like look how cool these are and i'm just like those are ugly as hell but i don't know they, I guess they look interesting, but I would prefer a regular one of these, like just a normal vent. That is fine with me because I cannot clip a camera into this shit, okay? So I don't know. Uh, we got the nice screen here, which I never use. Um, yeah, I don't know. We got our volume on and off. We can scroll through the radio. I never listen to the radio, so I would never. Oh, we can customize it. I wonder, can I choose a different color? <gasps> Wait, did that say color? It didn't say color. But can I choose a different color? Oh, you can add widgets. Okay. Hmm. I guess I need to learn and mess with this a little bit more because it does do. I want it to be a different color, though. Let's uh, Let's leave it alone. We're definitely gonna have to customize this at some other point get that looking cute and here we have our sunroof i've never had a car that had a sunroof so i'm very happy this is how we open and close the sunroof so let's open the sunroof for the first time ah hey, wait hey. all right and let's close it how do you Okay, I need to learn the buttons for this thing. Oh, you just push it. The lights for turning the inside of the car. And they may not close this back, actually. <sighs> I don't know how I felt about the black and peanut butter interior. But now that I'm kind of sitting in it, the more I looked at it, the more I just felt like, oh, it looks more expensive having this kind of color in there. Like, I don't know. Let's open this up back here. I think this is a cup holder. My last car was a cup holder. Ugh. Okay, yeah, it's a cup holder. My last car was a cup holder too. Um, back seat has never been used because people don't sit in my car, only me. Passenger seat has all my crap in it. So I got a trash bag right here that I need to throw away. My brush for snow, my eating tray, my purse, this cup that I need to take in the house car lights and just a light for my car or a camera light <sighs> you guys don't ever take your car to a car wash get literally a bucket of soap and a sponge and wash your own car because going to car washes is a scam um I will now, from now on, if I do go to a car wash, I will only get the little $9, the cheapest package that they have because they literally didn't do anything to this car. Like, absolutely nothing. I'm insulted at the scam. Um, actually, I lightweight applaud them for the scam because that place is always packed and they do crappy jobs. Amazing. But okay, um... I'm not too insulted, I guess, because it was free because I had a gift card. But if I had to pay cash for that, because it was like $18. No, it was actually $17. What? I'm pissed. But okay, 
let's go ahead and get these lights in my car because it's 11:45 and the movie starts at 12:40. so we gotta go ahead and do this we got some cool lights in the car my mind is just blown though you guys i would i can't wait to go back and rewatch this footage because it's so bright i need to get my windows tinted like right now there's like a glare like what is this rainbow glare in the corner it's like so much light hold on Maybe I'll put you guys right here, but I need to get my car windows tinted because it's so bright in this car that it just messes with the cam The camera can't focus and adjust itself because it's so bright. But once I get the windows tinted, it'll at least help out with some of the sun coming in. Anyway, we're moving over to part B of the video. This is the GoV RGB car LED light strips. It was like under 20 bucks too, so pretty cheap. Oh gosh, it comes with screws. Look at this before. Um, we have download the Govi app. We don't need to do that now. We got a user manual. We got some uh, zip ties and we have the actual lights. So let's go ahead. Oh look, it plugs into the little smoker thing in your car i'm gonna go ahead and get these opened really quick i had to watch a quick tutorial but it seems simple enough so you get where's all my stuff all right so there is they're all connected so you get four let me shoot let me get out of the car it'd probably be easier to show you guys if i got out of the car and laid it on the ground filming outside is probably the most frustrating thing ever right now I'm gonna lay this out so you guys can see it. Okay, so as we can see, this piece is the one that goes into the little smoker thing. That's the button. The ones that are closer to the little, to closer to the actual outlet, these lights will go into the front. And then there's longer ones in the back that snake and you would put those in the, you would attach those to the seats in the back. So it's all one piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and get this all attached into the car. Let me go pick them up off the ground really quick. Oh, I should have brought a ponytail holder with me or something. All right, these are my pieces that are going in the back. So I'm gonna slide those back there really quick. And these are my front pieces. Oh my gosh. When I get paid next, I am getting my windows tinted, maybe. Maybe when I get my deposit back for this apartment, I'll get my windows tinted. We'll see. We should, I feel like I've treated myself so much the past couple months that I probably should wait it out, but we'll see. I'm kind of glad they included these zip ties so that I can, because there is a lot of cord here, and I would want to go ahead and get things managed good because there's a lot going on here. So this one goes to this side. This one is staying on this side. This piece, I'm gonna go ahead and actually I'm gonna push my chair back as far as I can. It's back there. Oh, my little car seat emergency thing. Pretty much the lowest part that's in here. And then, I hope you guys can see any of this, but we're just gonna, put the cord to the mat or put the cord underneath the car mat so that I'm not tripping over it, stepping all on it, you know, that whole thing. And we're gonna pull out what we need. I don't know, you guys, cause sometimes I like slide my foot over and I don't wanna hit that cord. Let's just go for it. Now it does have little screws so that you can screw it down, but I'm just gonna use the little sticky and call it a day. Okay. We got one in and we have it directly underneath. It's attached pretty good. All right, I'm gonna do the other side really quick. Should we do a test? Let's plug it in and do a test. Oh, look at that. Do you guys even see that? That looks pretty good. All right, let's keep going. 
All right, for the back seat, I had to get a little creative because everything underneath here is fabric. So it wasn't gonna stick. So what I stuck it to is just like this part of the car that's always there and doesn't move. Nobody gets in my back seat. And if you're getting back here and you're kicking my lights, I will kick you. So kick these lights at your own risk. Walking back around. Ugh. We are properly installed. Definitely gonna have to do some cable management. Ugh. But it was a lot easier than I thought. Because what I did, you know, I was like complaining like, oh, what if I kick that part with my foot? So what I end up doing is bringing the cord all the way up and around to sit up here where my foot will not be. And that way it's completely underneath the, underneath the mat. That way my feet isn't gonna be just like kicking the shit <laughs> out of the lights. I wish there was like a dark or shady area over here I can go to and show you guys like what the lights look like with everything on. We're gonna put the screws in the zip tie. We're gonna put the screws in there. The zip ties I'm gonna actually use right now to kind of secure the, uh, secure the um, cords that are up front. These right here. I'm gonna try to zip tie and get these as bunched up as I can because they're a little bit ugly up front and I can see myself dragging and messing with them. Cables are successfully hidden. Luckily, my car had like a little little groove here and I was able just to stuff the lights in between there. So now you can't see them. And then there's like a little latch underneath here. So I stuffed the, I zip tied them and stuffed the access cords like right up here. And then I did the same thing for this side over here. And then the back lights are just chilling back there. Once the sun goes down, I can probably do a better showing of these lights. It's just so bright out here right now. And then have my car is with just like zero tint. Um, <laughs> my aunt is lactose intolerant and I gave her that ice cream and she says I ate that whole ice cream and I was paying for it all night. It was worth it. Best ice cream I've ever had. <laughs> About to go get more. <laughs> I wish I can go somewhere dark because I want to show her my lights. Hold on, let's try to find somewhere just a little bit darker, maybe behind the building. Let's go behind the movie theater. All right, it is a little bit darker over here, but not really. We're in the back where the dumpsters are. Um, as you can see, because it's still so bright in here, but you can see how the lights work. And over here, Ugh. back here mm -hmm. I really wish I could have like maybe later on I will get a screw and end up screwing these underneath the seat so that it's just all fabric underneath there and it wasn't going to stick to anything but later on I probably will move those so we'll see I'm going to go ahead and attach this to my Govi app that I love so much I should probably look at the user manual what did I do with it so the manual shows, oh, did I do this wrong? Look at this. So the manual shows that the shorter pieces were actually supposed to go in the back and those longer pieces, like it's supposed to go to straight back around and then back up to the front. That's okay. Don't be like me. Read the manual, you guys, okay? You're gonna get a totally different, um, I guess it doesn't really matter. I mean, they're in the car. And if I would have done it that way, I wouldn't have been able to stick my lights to the side of the doors. So I guess it worked out either way, but don't do what I do. Do what I didn't do. It's connecting. Let's do car lights. Cool. And now we have access to turn the car lights, whatever color we want, through the app. Ugh, I don't know what color we're gonna keep. Let's do... Let's do like a pink. All right. You can see because it's reflecting off my shoelaces. There we go. I guess with the extra time, let's pop into Kroger's and actually um, hmm, buy some orange juice for the next video I'm recording today. I'm actually going to send a picture of this to my aunt, but yay!
All right, when I get back to the house, we're gonna do the advent calendar. Maybe I should also get some gas. We're gonna do the advent calendar when we get back to the house after my movie. And yeah, excited. Back home, uh, we saw House of Gucci and oh my God, you guys. It was so painful to watch. It's like the whole movie, I was sitting there waiting for something to happen. And it just, even when something did happen, it was the most boring thing to ever happen. Like I laughed a few times because of Jared Leto. But other than that, I listened to Stephanie Sue's podcast about House of Gucci before I saw the movie. And the podcast was better than the movie. Like they were introducing characters who I'm pretty sure are important but they either glanced over, glossed over their name or didn't say their name at all. So now I'm gonna have to get on Wikipedia and look up the history because they, it, I wish that, you know how they did um, American Crime Story and they did OJ and they did Versace. It would have been better if they did Gucci as an American Crime Story because that was good. I love those series. This should have been American Crime Story and not a movie. <sighs> But okay, the battery's flashing, but I think I have enough time to go ahead and open up the advent calendar. What day are we on? Uh, we did 12. Where's 13? All right, we did 13. So we're on day 14. All right, and that has Miss Sally. Love her. The flashing battery is quite distracting. It has to be something good with Miss Sally on there, right? Oh, it's some recipes. So we have Christmas Town eggnog and Halloween Town chocolate pretzel spider webs. Eggnog, huh? Maybe I should try to make eggnog using this recipe. And then it has the steps on the back. Really cute. I'm gonna keep these recipe cards because this could be something I could do next year for Halloween or something, who knows? <sighs> but okay, I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here and honestly, I'm about to go change clothes and record my next vlog because I wanna do this cooking video because I'm hungry and I have more to say. So I wanna record some more <laughs> and I don't feel like it would be appropriate for this vlog, but okay. Car washes are a scam. Don't take your car to car washes. And if you do get the basic pass, get the basic package because they're scammers. There's watermarks. My car looks worse than it did before I took it in there because now there's watermarks. Like it's it's. I feel scammed. But I didn't pay for it. It was on a gift card, so I don't feel too bad. But okay, I'm going on a tangent. All right, bye you guys. See you in the next one. Bye. All right, so I came out. I came outside to show you guys what the lights look like when it's darker outside. Even in the back, it looks good. <sighs> Let's uh, change the color with my app. I think the red looks really good. The blue does too. We should do pink and leave it at that. Looks pretty cool.